facilitated uh, their struggle. So after the general exercise in the areas of Kaweta we are able to withdraw and they advanced for two days to Kaweta to, to Masindi and it's from Masindi is where these cadets boarded the vehicles and coming here for this combined arms element. The aim or the objectives of this exercise was just to introduce these cadets to a combined or collective training whereby we have all elements of fighting. Land forces and cadets represented the land forces as infantry and they were practicing command, out command, a platoon and being able to operate with these other combat arms. Timely sharing of information and best practices through early warning gives organizations a strong voice to contribute to peace as well as mitigate violence. We must also explore investing in advanced technology to be part of the broad system. Early warning facilitates the secure exchange of information and knowledge between organizations and offers solutions for responding rapidly to evolving challenges such as drought, which leads to crop failure, need for water for animals, famine, and eventually conflict. Towards strengthening early warning capacity within Eastern Africa standby force staff have been possible through the support accorded to us by the African Peace and Security Sector. We therefore acknowledge and appreciate our mother organization, the African Union, for holding our hands this far. I also wish to thank the Republic of Uganda and all our member states for their undying support towards the realization of the ESF mission and vision.